In a fateful turn for the medical industry, the PIP scandal exploded on the scene. The French breast implant manufacturer was accused of inserting a dangerous gel into the chests of nearly 400,000 women across the globe. Il était constitué ce gel de, de silicone industriel, c'est-à-dire pour les ordinateurs, même pour les moteurs de voiture. Donc, en aucune manière, ce gel n'aurait dû se trouver dans des prothèses et encore moins dans le corps de ces femmes. Nevertheless, the PIP company, the third ranking producer of prosthetics in the world, had managed to get its products certified by a well known notified body. Lorsqu'une société veut mettre sur le marché un dispositif médical, que ce soit une seringue, que ce soit même une prothèse mammaire, elle est obligée d'obtenir, c'est l'Europe qui lui impose, une certification. C'est-à-dire que ce produit est conforme à un cahier des charges, une liste euh, à vérifier et à cocher par le, le tiers certificateur. A spate of similar medical scandals has encouraged the European Union to react to better define the legal framework governing medical devices. The goal of the medical devices regulation is primarily and absolutely to make sure that patients are safe. And I think there's another part of this story which is really important, that we have a medical devices industry in Europe which is incredibly innovative. So it was with that in mind that we looked at this regulation to see could we design a new piece of legislation that looked after patients and promoted innovation in the industry in a very safe way for all of us. The medical device industry is a major economic player in Europe, employing 575,000 people in the EU and achieving 100 billion euros per year in total sales. The goal of the new regulations is to protect this key sector and, most importantly, the health of the many citizens that it serves. How do we do that? We are insisting under this regulation that notified bodies need to have the necessary skills uh, so that they can do the job that they are being asked to do and that they also, in addition to how they work now, carry out unannounced inspections. So look, what we're talking about here is greater scrutiny, greater scrutiny and greater scrutiny. That's how the European Parliament wants to improve regulation in both medical devices and in vitro diagnostic devices that have an important place in our daily life. In vitro diagnostic medicine products are all tests that can help us to recognize a disease and better to treat it. The VD-Verordnung is often as a little sister of the medicine product Verordnung angesehen. Aber eigentlich ist es die Mutter. Denn bevor ich eine Therapie durchführe, eine Operation, ein Medikament oder auch ein Medizinprodukt einsetze, muss ich erstmal wissen, was hat der Mensch eigentlich. Und dafür brauchen wir diese Diagnostik-Medizinprodukte. Und auch die müssen besser werden. My view of this regulation is rebuild trust, um, greater surveillance, a greater checks at every point in the chain, uh, so that all of us will have uh, access now and in the future to these incredible devices that save lives.